Welcome everyone to channel Techie Jack. Today in this video we will learn how to troubleshoot Exchange Server. You might be aware of that Exchange Server has several components and dependencies. Exchange Server being a critical application has great impact on business productivity as well. So if you are a Exchange Admin, you have to monitor several things such as Exchange Server performance, Exchange connectivity with the client, Exchange transport settings and services, Exchange database health check, tag replication etc. For an Exchange Server Admin, it is very important to have a complete knowledge of Exchange Server so that correct step can be taken whenever it is required. Therefore you should also know what I am doing and what will be the impact of this step on the Exchange organization. So in this video we will learn how to troubleshoot database failures in Exchange Server. So let's move to the server and get started. So now we are on the server and let me show you the database and server on which they are lying. You can see the DB01 2019 and DB02 2019 are the two database. Both the database are active on EX02 2019 and we have a two server EX03 and EX02 2019. So DB01 and 2 are the database and EX02 2019 and EX03 are the server. Now suppose you are facing any issue with your mailbox database. The first step is to verify the database that which database has failed and you have to isolate it. If you receive a complaint from a few users that they are not able to log in, you can check are the complaining user lies in the same database or they are in a different database. If the complaining users are lying inside the same database, you will identify the failed database. If they are on the different database, there can be a different issue. Suppose the database fails, first step is to check the Microsoft Exchange Information Store service. Because this service manages the mailbox database in the Exchange server and it depends on other services such as Active Directory topology. If I see the dependencies of this service, you can see the Microsoft Exchange Active Directory topology, RPC, server, Windows event log and workstation. So you should check that all the dependencies are up and running. You can also verify these service quickly by running the command let test service health identity server name. Let me show you test service health server ex03. If I hit enter, you can see the role mailbox server role. These are the services which are running and service not running. There is nothing that means all the services for the mailbox server role are running and for the client access server role required service running. That is true. That means all the service for the client access role are running and service not running is none. And for the role hub transport server, the required service is running. That is true. All the services are running not running service. There is nothing. So that means all the services are up and running and the same way we can do that for EX02 2019 as well. All the three roles are running. Next you can check free disk space for the database volume. You can see we have a database here and the logs here. If the database volume is full, the database is dismounted automatically. In that case, either you have to increase the size of the volume or move your database to the large enough drive. Also you can verify the mailbox database by the command let get mailbox database. You can see we have a two database db01 2019 and db02 2019. Both the database are mounted on server ex02 2019 and replication type is remote. We can also check the test mappy connectivity for our database and you can see the mappy connectivity is success. The mappy connectivity is also working fine. You can also analyze the event log as well. In case if you have a DAG, you can run the command let test replication health and identity. You can specify the name of the server that is ex03 in our case. And if I hit enter, you can see the test replication. The result is passed. All the check has been passed. And same way, if you want to do it for the another server ex02, we can check for this server as well. All the check like cluster service, replay service, active manager and all the check has been passed. So there is no error. If you find any error that will be helpful in troubleshooting, you can act accordingly. You can also run the command let get mailbox database copy status to know the active and passive copy of the database and the number of transaction log awaiting. It also shows the health of content index. If I hit enter, you can see DB01 2019 mounted on EX02 2019. 
copy queue length is zero replay queue length is zero that is a good sign and if we have a large number of copy queue length that means there can be an issue with the network if we have a replay queue length in a large number there can be an issue with the disk performance and if you want to see the mailbox database copy status on all the server you can run the same commandlet and you can put the star here and if you hit enter it will show you all the database copies like db0 1 2 they both are mounted on ex0 2019 the other passive copy of db0 2 2019 and db0 1 2019 are healthy on ex03 server you can see the last inspected log time is 1 april 2022 and you see the date is 412022 so it is a latest inspected copy and it is in a healthy state I hope this video will help you and if you are interested in learning complete exchange server from Microsoft Courseware name administering Microsoft Exchange Server 2016 and 19 the exam number is 203451B I have tried my best effort to build the complete course on course.techiejack.com so that the beginner and intermediate can get good understanding of complete exchange server this course will be updated for the scenarios which requires special setup in real world environment and will be notified you over the email and will be free also if you need any help in consulting with exchange server feel free to contact via email on info at so thank you very much for watching let's meet in a next video